I don't think gaming is anti-women. Like, no guy is saying, oh, you can't play online today because you're a woman. I don't think it's anti-women, but I think there's just a lot more shit they have to deal with. Look at that simp. Look at that fucking simp. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Take a female... Take a... Take a... The, the average-looking female gamer and the average-looking male gamer. Who's making more money in a year? Just random females. A random female that's like... Out of, her looks are like an 8 and a dude's looks looks who's like an 8. Give them a year. Who's making more money on the internet? Gaming. The female. So what the fuck is that simple ass nigga talking about? I mean, the biggest gamers are male, are, 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 are males, but... And they're more males. Fighting and shooting in like, way. It's a way of our society saying it's okay to shoot. Well, what you are probably wondering is... It's different. Is it turning their it's not the same. It's obviously not the same. It's different. Professional competitive video gaming. Players who play 10 or 12 hours a day to become the best of the world. 225. Bro, I used to know like Fortnite, bro. Of money. My name is Austin E2. I'm 20 years old and I play Fortnite professionally. Oh, that's more guys? I won the first really big Fortnite tournament. It set the speed for the rest of the scene. Free grunts, how you can free them. I'm Benita Novshadian. I'm 27 years old. My favorite part about CS gaming Go. is literally just winning. I can't do that PC shit. I don't got a little freak ass suspect wrist. I ain't flicking my wrist like I'm jacking cock. I can't do that. I can't pee. You know what I'm I could play, I could game on PC, but it gotta be easy games, left, right, up, down type shit. Click, click, point and click type shit. I'm a very competitive person. Benita just 4 k us. My name is Hugo. I am 33, and You're I play simp. Super Smash Brothers for Dignitas. No wonder he plays Super Smash. Ain't nothing wrong with Super Smash, but Nintendo fanboys is they're different breeds. Oh, no. So I just played as a kid. Nintendo fans get no bitches. It, but I always wanted to be better than other people at it. I'm Ariana Gamboa, I'm 19 years old, and I play Halo competitively. It is my passion. Ariana, I know you get fucking... I know this bitch. If she averages, like, 200 viewers with another dude that averages 200 viewers, you are getting way more donos, way more subs. I don't want to hear you complaining about nothing, shuddy. And girls can also game. You know girls can One game. misconception is how much work people actually put in. There's a lot that goes into it. just not better than us. I'm sorry. A lot of people you know, have negative stigmas and think fact. doing nothing with his life. Rather, it can be a, quite a healthy outlet and people really build futures out of gaming. I like energy drinks. Three. Wait, I'm sorry. Can, can you give me a second? I like to think energy about drinks. This? Um. This is like, <laughs> okay, How y'all feel okay. about energy drinks, chat? They're asking them questions? What? I like energy drinks. I only like energy drinks with alcohol. What the fuck? Does that affect your gameplay? Bitch, what? I only like energy drinks with alcohol. I don't like energy drinks. I do not drink energy drinks. The only time I tried to take energy drink was before the gym, and after that, I always crash. I don't take energy drinks, and I be, t I, I don't, I don't drink energy drinks. I don't do that shit. Do black people take energy drinks? That's probably some dumbass shit I just said, but I don't know a single, like, black motherfucker that just be drinking energy drinks. I really don't. Well, I don't drink when I'm playing. Oh, oh yeah. okay. No, yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, it's yeah. probably... <laughs> I like I alcohol. the health risk that some energy drinks have, but for me, I mean, sometimes I'm playing in four-hour sessions, just non-stop having to play at the top of my game. And Four-hour sessions. My man just said he been he be playing four-hour sessions. Four hours ain't shit. <laughs> nigga said, sometimes I be paying for four hour sessions, my nigga. I was no life and shit way younger than that. Tell me some four hours. I hella need it sometimes. And uh, for the purpose of actually performing, I think it's great. I don't drink it at all on my off time because I felt like I was using it as a crutch. Look at my boy oh, Aiden. I can't compete. Then I certainly. Chat, y'all know I'm a Fortnite pro, you know what I'm saying? Made over. Nine hundred thousand dollars off Fortnite so far. You feel me? Warrant a Royale, World Cup type shit. You know, what I'm saying? summer skirmish or is it winter skirmish? Whatever the fall skirmish. I mean, I was going dummy. You know, what I'm saying? all them fucking uh, 
daily tournaments every Wednesday and Thursday. Y'all know what I'm about, my nigga. Y'all know what I'm about, my nigga. Made so much bread off wagering these bum ass niggas in my chat. So much bread. So much bread off wagering you bum ass niggas back in the day. But after that Winter Royale, I had to stop. I had to realize the money ain't everything. I was playing a game just for money. I had to realize this money shit, you know what I'm saying? It ain't. You feel me? I had to quit. Point. I was like, that's pretty sad. Like, I need to be training and then trust that, not the energy drink. Yeah, you don't want to rely on it ever. Yeah, maybe I'll just. <laughs> Gaming culture. I kind of like that bitch in the front. Not gonna lie, I need a definition of that word. <laughs> Aiden, look at Aiden. Hey, I fuck with Aiden, but Aiden a little cringe bag. You know what misogynist means, nigga. Gaming culture is misogynistic. Not gonna lie, I need a definition of that word. Or is he trying to clarify it? Yeah, yeah, what is misogynistic? Oh, okay, no, he does He does know. Anti- What? Women. Oh, okay. Or anti female Gotcha. Three, two, one. Everyone has that experience Bitch on the left smart. in a gaming lobby, and well I mean, those are just like trolls, though. That's like, br bruh, <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's just that it's trolls, dog. Like, what the fuck? Like, the average person is not thinking that gaming, like, doesn't feel any type of way about girls playing video games. So how the fuck is it misogynistic? If the average person doesn't look at it like that. It's always those people just trying to be funny or some shit. Nobody actually thinks anything bad about, like, get girls can't game or some shit. Like, are they, oh, are they toxic? Yeah, they toxic because they look like kids most of the time. But that's about it. They kids. They jits. Well, probably us. I mean, if that's misogynistic, then I guess. More. Maybe I don't know the as definition. As soon as we speak, we get called fat. We get called all these ugly names. I get called all type of shit, too. Have you seen my comments, baby? I've been called Igger. I didn't say the word. I said Igger. I've been called Igger. I've been called Ugly. All type of shit. Still something I deal with today, as I did 10, 15 years ago. That motherfuckers it is just soft, bro. A terrible thing to experience. I, I have a girlfriend that streams, though, so I, I feel like I've gotten more open minded about it and understanding and I can definitely understand the obstacles like females have to go through. It's pretty tough from people just saying dumb shit or saying you're bad, saying you shouldn't compete or men sometimes hear those things too, but they don't hear it because they're men. Right, right. Right? They hear it because of whatever, like the internet wants to hate on some yeah. random shit. That's it's like we have to is it? <laughs> prove ourselves more. Yeah, exactly. That's the big difference. I'm I'm a competitor. Like I don't care about what my gender is. I mean I what... guess how much I weigh. I don't care about any of that. Like, I know, I, I know why they said it. Then I'm good enough. Like, I just don't really believe in the... I think it's more so them giving us a chance or seeing that we're actually good enough. But I think the enough. skill speaks for itself. No one, no guy is saying, yeah, you cannot get on your computer because you're a woman. Like, no guy is saying, like, nobody oh, saying that. play online today because you're a woman. I, I kind of disagree with that. And, like, I do agree that the skill speaks for itself. While anyone can typically play any game they want and become good. The environment makes it so that it's much harder to succeed as a woman than it is okay. as a man. You could have said, look, I agreed with all the name calling bullshit to an extent, but nah, it, it's succeeding, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. It is way easier to succeed as a fucking girl gamer than a dude gamer. It's just that there is way more guy gamers, so it just seems that way. But hell no. Hell no. Shut up. There's no doubt that the experience will be different. Oh yeah. Bitches don't even have to be entertaining that. whatsoever. I don't think gaming is anti-women. I don't. I don't think it's anti-women, but I think there are. There's just a lot more shit they have to deal with. Um. So like back then, you know, arcades and the first like home consoles, girls and video games just weren't a thing. You know, it was like a boys only club. Anytime a girl was like interested in video games, guys would be like, oh, you know, just go play makeup or go back to the kitchen or something, go you know. make a sandwich. Yeah, 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 exactly. And it was so dumb. And, you know, as years gone by. Look at them pancake shot. I thought, why did, I thought she was thick yeah, or something. Yeah, exactly. And it, Look at them pancakes. Them's just pancakes. That's just a back, boy. 
See, she's gonna think I'm being misogynist. That's not being. That's just me roasting your shit like I'll do anybody else. You feel me? I'm so dumb. And Is that misogynistic of me? Me roasting her because she got pancakes? You know, as years gone by. If so, then I am men. I'm. Is there one for man? I'm feminist. I'm a feminogistic because I'll be roasting the niggas. I'll be roasting females. I'll be roasting all type of races. I'll be roasting everything. Everything. Gaming culture has advanced. I ain't racist. Right? And I ain't misogynistic. Diverse. Fe feminogistic. You know, whatever the fuck y'all say. Out there that still treat it like it's the 90s. What fuck's just soft? Let me see. They all better go left. They're all going left. They're all going left. If this nigga, oh, this okay. I don't know. I don't know because there's proof. Wow, I just want to like kind of not be the odd one out. So the only reason I want to say a little bit here is because anyone remembers Columbine. Like, they were inspired by video games, but like, it's just I, all okay. I see what she's talking about too. At the end of the day, I feel uh, what she's talking about too. Who who has those kinds of issues is going to find that inspiration from any kind of medium, including movies, including games, including books. I even think the dialogue where, you know, we act like games don't is kind of harmful. Bro, I did a whole speech about how video games do not influence violence, like don't promote violence. But I see where she thought she was coming from. I got what she was trying to say, but I don't agree with it. It was her saying, like, with people with, like, mental problems type shit, if they see some shit like that, like, them calling by motherfuckers, they would want to do BIH it. If a looks mid and has titties, they can live off of gaming. Exactly. Ain't no type of feature that a nigga could have that would make it, like, physical feature that he could just have that and, yo, he's a gamer now. He's getting paid. Nah. N dudes have to be either entertaining or good. Females have to be either entertaining, good, or good looking. Or decent looking. That's it. Society in general. I think it's definitely like using video games as like a scapegoat, in my opinion. Yeah, like it's easy. definitely more of a mental health Rap issue. Album. For real, video games and violence, fake news. It's a myth. You know, there's um, even music, uh, rock and roll, drugs, sex, and rock and roll. Yeah, and they uh, blame rap. rock once, and then they blame yeah. rap, and then exactly, man. Like you're always, always, always for looking for something <laughs> to blame. Yeah, yeah. I think on the opposite side of that spectrum, video games could even be pointed to the thing where it could be used as an outlet for the people that have those kind of urges and thoughts. And oh, God. I like those out of you. Exactly. It's escape for exactly. It's a whole other I like those out of you. But I think on the underlying issue of that, I think that it really comes with, like, the parenting. I mean, if you're having those kind of thoughts in general, I mean, there's so many of us that play video games that don't have those kind of thoughts. How would it... It's like you said, it's just a scapegoat. It's annoying. Competitive gaming is just as demanding as physical sport. Uh, uh, don't go right. Don't go right. It's not. It's not. For traditional sports, you have to push your body. It's not. It's not, bro. I, it's not. People say it is, but it's not. Mentally, maybe. But when you're gaming, you literally only have to focus on the mental aspect of it. For sports, you got to focus on the mental aspect of it. Which is probably even harder than the mental aspect of competitive gaming. The physical aspect of it. Bro, come on now. I ain't saying competitive gaming is easy because it's not. You got to spend hours on that shit, bro. I've done it. But, like, you're in the comfort of your own home. Just honing your skills and shit. Stop. To such lengths to be able to... Dude, Nerd ass, ass niggas. To be the best, to be whatever. I just Pilly here, here Mundo. Thank for the sub. It's hard. I agree. Um, I'm usually Pimple, like, for the sub. on my computer for almost ten to twelve hours a day. Physically, I'm not doing anything. Ellie, thank for the gift. NFL or NBA player is doing. Hell no, you're I don't not. play basketball, but I don't think that they're working on like frames per second kinds of levels of of reaction and speed. But then you know, not all. Wait, wait, what? Per second, I don't play basketball, but I don't think that they're working on like frames per second kinds of levels of, of reaction and speed. Did he just say he doesn't play basketball, but he doesn't think basketball players are working on the type of s speed that gamers have to? Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut it! Please shut it! Please shut it. You could have used any other sport. 
but he used basketball. When you literally have to look at the, the littlest muscle movements on defense to tell whether what the offense is about to do and vice versa. Like, like bro, st shut up. Do you know how... Oh, please say... It's sarcasm? Oh, please say it's sarcasm. Please, oh, if it's sarcasm, then he's just very bad at sarcasm, then I'm an idiot. I hope it's sarcasm. Oh, it probably was sarcasm. Okay. Well, I got hyped because I've heard that before. I've heard that before. And it was from a CSGO playing ass nigga and a Fortnite playing ass nigga. Talking about who was I arguing with? It was a it was a jit, but either way, the nigga was dead ass serious with me. I've had this argument before. That's why I got hyped. Niggas actually bleed at though. Niggas literally bleed at. But then you know, not all sports are as intensive as like football and like soccer and USC. We're probably all thinking basketball, football. Yeah, that, like, because it's oh, like okay, it's okay, the okay. mainstream. I think it was sarcastic. Right? Because there's I also like, what the question was, no? Yeah, there's also no, like, no, but there's also golf. There's also like bowling, darts, you know. And I think gaming, esports, is like as demanding as those, if not beyond that. There are some sports that I'd say competitive, some competitive games, like competitive Fortnite. I don't know. Golf is hard, bro. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not go like, go, bro. I might not watch golf or care about golf, or, but I already know that shit is hard. How the fuck are you flicking a ball that hard? Like, bro. So what games? Uh, what sports? Bowling, I guess. You still gotta train for bowling your technique and shit, but when it comes to like, let's say competitive Fortnite or some shit. There's so much shit, like so many skills you have to golf. Yeah, golf. Hello? There's so many aspects of Fortnite that you have to get good at. It's not just shooting. Oh. P positioning. Oh. No, it's all type of shit. It's not probably bowling, I guess. What other sport? Um, I don't know. Trash talk is part of the fun. Yes, everybody go right. Three, two, one, go. Good shit. All the way to the right. It's hella fun. It's competition. You know, you're trying to get everyone riled up. Yes, you're sir. To throw everyone off their game. Baseball. This one, yeah. Uh. <laughs> no, you, just, you spit some words. You know, once people start taking like life problems and Wade and try to like find stuff up on you, that's where it gets petty and it's childish. But um, trash talking is super fun. I do it a lot on stream. You know. I yeah. I mean, I love I love trash talking. People, it's so fun. If you're doing it in good fun, then I think the trash talk is essential to any video game. I don't think nobody in this video can handle like our level of trash talk in chat. They would literally call, like, imagine me being a like a known person in the Fortnite community, like very known on some like like ninja shit. I'd be, oh my god, they they would think I'm the most toxic motherfucker ever, bro. They would have canceled my shit. But to us, it's like normal shit. <laughs> to us, it's just like <laughs> normal shit. Th them niggas, you know how they uh, trash out? They're like, you're doggy. <laughs> doggy. <laughs> shit on him. <laughs> Builds up hype, yeah. Like... Even if I die, get good, die, kid. My go to is <laughs> you're trash. So, like, that's just. <laughs> That's probably my go-to. Oh, yeah? I think I call people dog shit idiots a lot. I say dog yeah. shit dog way shit. too much. I always call people virgins, but... <laughs> I always say, like, you're a fucking virgin, That's but I only say it on the mic because... But, and then if a nigga says, you're a fucking stank-ass whore, fucking get in the kitchen type shit, you you, you crying, huh? Why? Because then you can, ta like, you can understand my tone, and it's not that serious. But I would never like type something like that. Actually, I have a whole like diss track about me, like on oh. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And then my friend just wrote one back. So there's just like, and then everyone's hyped about it. Everyone just, like, yeah, yeah. Don't nobody know or care about that diss track, my nigga. He just wanted to, hey, ain't nobody clicking that bitch. Ain't nobody gonna search that bitch. My family is skeptical of my career. Yes. Three. Mine, two, right now. One, go. Oh. I mean, Aiden, nah, because Aiden making millions. The niggas who aren't making millions or hundreds of thousands. 
I'll start because I guess I'm a little older. Back then, it wasn't ever a career. Now, it's so different. Like, if I were to tell my parents, like, yeah, hey, I have a 401k from gaming. Like, I have health insurance. I have everything. Just like a regular job gaming. with like a bachelor's degree or whatnot. Look at so how. I actually, I'm, I'm a little bit younger and my parents were always super supportive. I quit football and sports when I was in like seventh grade and I just really started gaming. Even after high school, uh, my parents, my dad gave me a whole year to try to do something with it. Started making some money um, and it just took off from there. Black so, parents? Uh, my parents were very like, good about it and nah, you gotta have a full-time job full-time school and do your little gaming shit on the side when you when you got all your chores and shit done hey that little two that little hour you got in your day little two hour you got in your day before they make you get off the game that's the time you gotta grind nigga gave him a year what the fuck makes me feel like proud I mean, <laughs> my parents did a very similar thing and after i graduated high school i asked for a chance what the like, fuck hey can i have just a year. I want to really see if I can make this work. You know, I want to pursue Bruh, my dreams. I could have probably asked my mom that after high school or some shit. But I wouldn't have the nerve. I wouldn't have the balls to ask your mom. <laughs> Yo, I know I just did four years of high school and shit. And you, and I say, but I want to take a year off and just play video games and shit. Nigga, what? And I won that. Won the tournament that you know we both popped off in. Yeah. And, um, if this was I already know three my, years my, ago, my, I'd say my I'd parents wouldn't get that shit. That they they'd be skeptical. They had, they don't know, but my dad's always been supportive of me, and I'm I'm thankful for that. During that's school, dope that they're really supportive. I'm just saying, that, black parents ain't going. We're just like, nah, that doesn't sound like a good idea. You're kind of throwing your life away. So then I got a regular career, and then when my friends started making money in video games, I was like, what the fuck am I still doing here? They saw how much happier I was doing this versus that, and they knew I was capable of that now they're like watching on stream together like they're showing up to some live events here and there my mom is very very supportive Bro, of what even if chat even if i was making like who's a who's a youtuber that makes a lot of money ddg nah yeah let's say i was making like um let's say i'm dante no, Dante, I don't know how much Dante makes, but all we know is that he could support himself, he got his own place, all that. If I was making I'm Dante type money on the internet, my mom still wouldn't care. Like, he knew he was set for life, he was straight for life. Nah, my, you need a degree, you need this, that, and the third. My family does not care about that shit. Bro, I be showing her millionaires type shit. I be showing her millionaires, like, do they got a degree? What, what's their degree in? I'm like, bro, these motherfuckers are set. Why Why does it matter what the fuck their degree is? It's like she would rather me make 100K a year with a degree than be making millions a year without a degree. Black parents are just different. They're robotic. What I do, their mindset is weird. But I was living with my grandparents for a while, and they actually kicked me out and were charging me rent because they didn't see live streaming or competing in video games as an actual job. So I moved back in with my mom and I got to quit that job and now I'm living my dream, so. I don't have much family. I just have my mom right now and she's an immigrant and very old school. So you can imagine how she feels about it. She oh, was yeah. like, you know, you're wasting your time. You know, I didn't work so hard to make, make a family here just so you can play video games. You should make something of yourself. But ultimately in the end, you know, as long as I was happy with my life and I became successful in my own definition, then she was okay with it as well. But she still hates gaming. Yeah. Uh, your from? Uh, my mother's from the Philippines. My father's from Scum the Philippines. Scum TK uh, type money. They definitely weren't about it <laughs> initially. Too. They'll understand it when they see the money. Yeah. It, it, it sucks great. though. Like you have to or, make money for people to realize yeah. it's actually a career. Yeah, you show them a paycheck. They're like, oh, oh yeah, okay. this is legit. Yeah. Okay, I, I mean, like yeah. That's <laughs> how it goes. From gaming. Three. I make a good living from One. gaming. Uh, Damn, that's why she don't care. So it <laughs> that's, I mean. Mm, that's tough. Strongly disagree. How many viewers do you think my man's had, bro? I feel bad for cuz. That tough. Depends on what you guys define as good living. I live in Silicon Valley in the Bay Area. The highest cost of living ever. This competitive gaming career I have, is it's a side hustle. If I just did any one of those by itself, I would not make it. 
I used to live in a trailer with my dad in Ohio, so I understand the struggle. You know, I used to sleep on the mattress on a floor. You broke ass nigga you know, shit. I started streaming. I started, you know, getting a lot of attention in tournaments. I was making a lot of money there. I mean, now I live in like in a really nice part of California, like rent free with my girlfriend and rent free. A lot of money to be made in gaming, whether it's streaming. YouTube tournaments. Oh, you, probably, ships, what, you bought the, the fucking. That was like is it a house? Million, like, there's just ridiculous numbers. Yeah. Well, the reason why I'm not on stream strongly right, agree is because it's so unreliable and inconsistent, in my opinion, which is something you have to worry about. And you don't know if you're even going to place top eight. You know, most of the time, tournament payouts can take months. I'd, I'd say I make a really good living. I think that Fortnite yeah, has do. given me a lot of opportunities. I mean, the viewership and the. Bro, the, Fortnite paint, like, bro. Fortnite made so many fucking people's lives, like, I know I be calling Fortnite trash now, it's not really even trash, I just bored of that motherfucker, like, it's not trash, like, the game is not trash, I'm just bored of it, so when if I get bored of something, I'm calling that motherfucker trash, I don't give a fuck, like, <laughs> but, like, god damn, I don't know, that shit made, like, I literally seen it before my eyes, bro. Just make niggas' lives. Tournament. Sit for the rest of their life. Alone. Play a fucking tournament millions of, like, what the fuck? It's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I sh I'm getting way too much money for just playing video what, games, what to be honest. Do do? I think it really depends on the game you're playing. Yeah. yeah, I play Smash. Nintendo does not give a shit about us. So, like, I still make enough to, like, I have a car. I have a roof over my head. I got 401k. I got, like, I'm fine. But I'm not making, like, like fuck you money. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> making, like, money. Fortnite money. And uh, so for me personally, it's, it's just, that's just the life of the game that I chose. If you're playing Fortnite, you pick the right one. You know. I, I'm sponsored. I have benefits. I'm comfortable. Hey, chat. Best believe. Hey, yo, chat. Next, next big game drop. Hey, all of us. All of us going crazy. How many of y'all in here right now? This is chill stream. We got like 2,000 people in here right now. 2.1. Hey, we got to go stupid. We milking that shit, all right? We all going to be pros in that game. We going dummy, all right? You heard? We going stupid. Chase the money, chase the money. Chat. I need y'all to go stupid. <laughs> Happy, I love what I do. Hop on that shit early. I not only win money from tournaments, but I'm also contracted, so. I'd also, I'd, I'd point out that, you know, maybe our definitions of good living are different. I mean, me and Aiden, especially, I know that we come from, you know, not particularly the best, you know, living. I mean, I used to live in Louisiana back when, like, you know, Middle. That boy was neighbors with Cash Nasty. That boy said he used to live in Louisiana. A nigga probably lived in the nicest block. Let's see. Well, nowhere. Where nobody would even know where I am. My salary right now is mo way more than enough to make a good living off of it. But then again, it depends on the area you live in. If you're living over there, I mean... Yeah, like if I lived in Kansas, I'd be filthy rich. <laughs> filthy rich. I'd be like making it rain. I found deeper relationships through gaming than anywhere else. Nah. I mean... Nah, I I'm, I found good relationships in gaming, not deeper than anywhere else. I, good ones, not. Oh, uh, look at these fucking lame ass motherfuckers. I'd say I've made some of my best friends ever, and uh, even if the game is done, we've already built a bond past that, where now we're just friends, and none of all these connections and things that have gone on wouldn't exist anymore unless I played this game. Uh, you know, I made I good. Play. I made very very good friendships through gaming, like my nigga Janix. Janix is probably gonna be my nigga for life. And I met that nigga on Fortnite. But that's like. You feel me? Some Fortnite pros said Project Agon be the next competitive pro game, so you need a hop on. Does when it drop. Oh, Loosh. Hey, you the plug, Loosh? Hold on, hold on. We gonna look those up after this. <laughs> we gonna look those up. Look that up after this. Yeah, I met a lot of niggas on the internet and shit, but it's like. I mean, when they say gaming, can you count the internet as well, like like YouTube or not? It's just specific, specifically gaming. I mean, I guess you can. Not everybody was as lucky as us to meet like good people in real life, so I guess yeah. You can, but I haven't. I haven't found deeper than like like my niggas Jordan, Jeremy, Sean, like my squad. Like ain't no way in hell. I don't think I'm ever gonna find. High school, I and my nigga TK? I was, like really nervous now. to talk to like ladies, and I wouldn't. I never, I never had a girlfriend in high school, and then um, after high school, I I met my girlfriend that I currently live with. So I think one thing too is people online are 
way more open than in person. Like, you feel a lot more comfortable. Never in my life. I'm not mad at it, though. Through, I'm not mad at it, though. Meet people that Some cool ass people you can meet online. I ain't like, mad at I it. I have those. Like, I would die for these people. We live around the country. I was like, I do you guys want to go to Canada? They're like, sure. And we just had the time of our life. And I just met them online through gaming or at a tournament. I, I agree with you guys. I mean, gaming has led me to a bunch of events like TwitchCon, all these things, even this, where I meet people and that's I just have those personally, relationships. You know? And, and at BIH gone, be free too, so y'all broke boys is set. Oh, that's it? <laughs> Yo, go set to YG stream highlights. I need you to sell to that nigga, man. He got bands, he got pockets. Bitches always thotting. Pop, lock, and drop it. I don't cuff it, I don't lock it. Bitches think I'm playing. Fuck what you saying. Get up out my house, I caught my nut. No, you not staying. Shorty wanna cuff. Bitch, that is enough. She went to my phone and saw my hoe. Now that's tough. She went to my phone, she got that tough.